Let's look at the different kinds of uh, charts we could create in Excel and just how dang easy it is to do it. So here, you know, is a pie chart. I'm going to show you some of the different charts. I'll briefly kind of tell you what they're for. Uh, a pie chart is good for showing portions of a whole, where the whole is the entire pie. And yellow here, Margaret, she's really rocking it, right? But over here, this person, maybe Margaret needs to get together with Rose Moreno and teach her what she's doing. So to create this chart, I just need to select my data. I left click and then hold down my left mouse button, drag over my data, and the data you select is crucially important when creating charts. So this is like the very first and maybe one of the most important things to remember is that the data you select is really going to determine how your chart or your graph looks. And if you don't like the way your chart or graph looks, go back and try selecting things a little bit differently. Let me show you what I mean. First, I'm going to just select this without the column headers. I'm going to go up to, where would it be? Under insert? Heck yeah, right there, charts. Under insert charts. And I'm going to choose a pie chart. It gives me a picture of what that looks like. And there we go. Right? So it's just that easy. But, you know, I don't have a chart title there. I do have the names down here. What would have happened if I'd selected also the column headers? See if that's any different. Insert, pie chart, pie. And it's exactly, no, it's not. <laughs> it says order amount up in the top. So uh, this one just said chart tile. So we had a difference there by just selecting that, which is our first example, versus selecting all of that, which is our second example. It created different charts for us. Let's look at a line chart. So again, we want to just select our data. So I'm going to go to the end of my data, which is right there. And I have totals right there. Watch what happens if I include totals into my selection. I'm going to scroll up, and I'm not going to select my headers and choose insert. I'm going to choose a line chart, and there we go. Wow, I had a huge increase in sales on December 27th, 2013. Everything was going along pretty low, and then boom, I had like $9 million in sale on the very last day of the year. <laughs> That's because that last day is the total. And so I want to make sure I don't select the total, so let me try selecting again. I'm going to go down to the bottom select without the total, come up to the top, and this time I'm also going to grab, uh, yeah, go ahead and grab the title, the column headers here, choose insert, line chart, there we go, and there's my line chart. So that's exactly the same one as I created right below. That's how you create it. I wouldn't have probably gotten total if I hadn't uh, selected the chart titles. Let's just look at that to see, la la la, insert, line chart, there we go. And it says chart title without total up top. So what you select is crucially important. We're going to see that even more. A line chart is good for showing data over time. How does it change over time? We could also add a trend line to our data. So here you see this line going right through, kind of giving us a trend. And I could sort of see, hey, the trend in my business is downward. That's not so great. How do you insert a trend line? You select your chart. I go over here to this menu, which pops up when the chart is selected, right? Those menu choices pop up. And then I can go to add chart element, trend line, and then put in a trend line here. So none, linear forecast, exponential, linear, moving average. Kind of interesting. I'm going to leave it at linear forecast. Here is a column chart. They start to get pretty beautiful. I really like the colors. And you'll notice there's something else up here. Here's my data. And I have these little graphs, these little charts right there. And those are called spark lines. To insert a spark line, insert once again. And over here you have spark lines. So a spark line can just be put into a cell to give you a real quick glance of what's going on with all this data right there. I've also told the spark line to highlight the high point within the data. Right, so I could look here and I could see, well, you know, these people are doing really well at the end of the year in December. These people kind of get it in the middle of the year. These people kind of in the beginning of the year, my different stores here. Right, so uh, to insert a spark line, let's try inserting one right here. So I uh, put, put, select the active cell, right, where I want my spark line. I go up to line right here in the spark line. And what's the data range you want to build this over? I'm going to select my data and then hit OK. And there's my spark line. But I don't have that cool little red dot, right? How do I get that little red dot? Under design, I could come over here and I could choose show high point. And there it is. Or I could say low point. So I'm going to stick with high point. I could also have low point. I could have them both.
So that's my spark line. What about creating this one down here, the column chart? Go all the way up and over everything, and I'm going to see what happens. Insert, column chart, there we go. And now I've got my months, I've got my stores, I've got a dollar amount, and I've got chart title up here, but it didn't pick up revenue. Well, that's easy enough to fix. So at this point, instead of selecting all of the data again and trying to get it to generate with revenue up at the top, since this is easy enough to fix, I'm just going to select chart title. I'm going to highlight, well, I just moved it, control Z to put it back to where it was. I'm going to highlight that, and now I'm just going to type revenue. So if I bring this chart up in size, I could actually see, yep, I've got my months, I've got my stores, all broken out by store. And I could, I could graph this differently if I wanted to. So right in here, if I wanted to start changing this, I could click this plus sign.